Alpha Compton here, and today I have a few unboxings. It's going to be one time um, per video, and for the first one, we have here Bravely Default, the Collector Edition by Square Enix. This is one of those really anticipated games. It It's an RPG, turn-based, that's a real throwback to, like, the games of yore, I should say. Super Nintendo, um, Game Boy Advance. Uh, it's for the Nintendo 3DS. Um, and I I had to get this. It it's amazing. It it the demo. I've been enveloped in the demo for twelve hours. Well, about two hours of that was grinding. But just to think that the demo just had a small taste of the game, and you know you could get so much out of it. Um, the game has, it, it feels like all the traditional elements of RPG, turn-based RPGs, combined with modern, you know, uh, technologies like voice acting, 3D backgrounds, and of course stereoscopic, stereoscopic 3D since it's going to be on the Nintendo 3DS. So, alright, let's uh, take a look at the uh, collector edition here, open it up. Uh, it comes with a lot of nice stuff. Um, I think it was a pretty good deal. Some of it fell open there. So, this is initially what you're looking at. This is the game here. This is the AR playing cards. I'm actually not sure what to expect here because uh, I was under the impression we would be looking at around 10 different um, AR cards. But this obviously is more, so I don't know if this is an actual deck of cards that can also function as AR cards. I'm just gonna rip it open. Screw it. So, so we have the different designs. Um, these are some of the characters you'll see in the game. That's um, the Flying Fairy, which I forgot to mention as the original subtitle of the game, Bravely Default Flying Fairy, and some of the other main characters. Okay, luckily we also have some color images too. We have a lot. Um, well, since there's no numbers and, suite and suits, uh, these are obviously not regular playing cards, but these are a lot of cards. I, I wasn't expecting this much. So I think that's a pretty cool plus. Um, I'm guessing all of these are characters that will probably be able to uh, show up in the game in the AR mode camera. Maybe with a story uh, background or cinematic like what was included with the demo um, when you put on an AR card. So that is the AR cards. Um, let's take a look at the game, which, uh, may or may not have some nice artwork in it. If I could get it out. See, one time, just one time, uh, I'd missed the opening of the regular game, and it had this, like, really cool artwork inside, and I get ready to check other games now, whenever I do an uh, unboxing, but it... They never seem to have anything special. So. Okay. So. Included with your purchase of the collector edition. You have. Um, this similar to like. I don't know. One of those Chinese finger traps or something. <laughs> it's on like how to open. <laughs> your Bravely Default. Okay. It's open there. I won. Uh, so. That's my Nintendo. Club members code. And they. Uh leaflet, manual, whatever. Mm. Oh, so we do have some kind of, uh, you know, manual or how-to. So, that's cool. At least, uh, you yeah. know. Yeah. That's nice. I guess if you didn't get the special edition of the game, the collector edition, you'd still have be able to use this as an initial play card. So you at least get that opening cinematic or, you know, whatever other extras they might include with AR use. AR meaning augmented reality, in case uh, some people watching don't, un don't know what that means. 
you can use the 3DS's camera to um, look at the card on a surface and be able to uh, get additional stuff. Anyway, so this is the original soundtrack, um, subtitled mini album for Bravely Default. Uh, and it has the tracks here. Probably going to be a little hard to see, they're kind of small, but uh, still a nice touch. So let's see. Can I open this? It's out? No. So I was going to see if I could do like a really clean open, but yeah, they included like a little thing here for you to pull. So that is the mini album here. I like a Square Enix logo there. Some extra nice bit of art there. Um, greetings everyone, my name is Revo and I compose all music for Bravely Default. I'm so glad that this lovable game, which I enjoyed very much as one of the game's users, will be released worldwide. Furthermore, if you like it, that will be awesome. As for Bravely Default, which you're just about to play, I composed a new piece in addition to the original music for Bravely Default Flying Fairy, which was released in Japan in October 2012. I imagined that a new piece would be used at the battle with powerful enemy. However, don't be discouraged and I would like you to get a glorious victory. A posture that you get up again and again if you fell down. A heart that you never fail the difficulties. I believe they, those are true brave. I love Japanese games and consequently culture. Um, side note, uh, probably could use better English. I have experienced many things since I was a child and that built myself and my music. Then it's not only Japan but also I am affected by various culture and music from Europe and America. If you like this game of music, I hope to see you someday. Goodbye for now. I didn't even catch it. Oh, just revo. So anyway. That was a little message in there. Uh, so, um, that looks like collector edition, but that's not everything. We have a little uh, hidden flap here on the side, and inside the flap, you have the Bravely Default art book. So here we have it. It's a deluxe art book. Unfortunately, it's not hardcover. It's just a soft cover, but it's still. Very nice nonetheless. And it has a lot of pages in it, which I think is pretty cool. We have, of course, Flying Fairy. No, sorry, not Flying Fairy. That was the main character. I forgot her name. Well, one of the main characters. So, yeah, Agnes. So, yeah. We have a lot of concept art, as well as some finished art, which is awesome. Both are very much appreciated. His, another one of the main characters. These are all characters you play in the demo, as well as the regular game. Ed Edda. Ringo Bell. At least I think that's how you say his name. Irie, or the Flying Fairy. Ah. Flying Fairy, just like the name of the game. Sky Knights, um, they're probably from the sky, and they're knights. Game P. Merchant Tree, is that a word? Merchant Tree? So, yeah, um, they're merchants, long story short. Blood Rose. Black Blades. Okay. I don't, I don't see any black people there, but, you know, whatever. Council of Six. I wanted to see if it was either less than six or more than six. Watch it be not six when you play the game. That's just how they do it. I guess these are probably stages that you are exploring the game. Must be. I'm sure these are treasure chests that you pick up in the game too. 
Yeah, these are definitely the talents. Yeah, this part is really nicely illustrated, actually. Because, um, concept artwork or not, this is uh, very high quality here at the end. And all the characters in different um, job classes. Very cool touch. And that's it for the deluxe art book. And, uh,. That's it. That's everything. So, this has been uh, the unboxing for the collector edition of Bravely Default. And this has been Alf Compton with the help of Riven holding the camera. So, thanks for watching.